All right, I hope to make this a short recording. It should just be of one fight, and if I'm not mistaken, it's the last fight in this run. I could be mistaken, though. Uh, since the last video, where I had a victory with Krooper using a Shroom deck, I did lose a run. I tried out the new tribe, newest to me at least. I forget what it's called, but it is the second one that you unlock. And then I'm still working on that tribe right now with this current run. Um... I've kind of been going with a somewhat teeth build. I have Tusk, Taiga, and Tiger Skull to give lots of thorns damage or teeth damage or whatever. I'm also using Chicky Chicky, or sorry, Chicky Chi um, as a sacrificial lamb. I'm running double Azul Skull and double Skull Mist T. And um, that's allowing me to buff up Chicky Chi very quickly and also apply all of these nice effects to either my allies or to the enemies. And that's pretty much been the entirety of this deck. Um, the snow has been used for sure to slow people down a little bit. Tarblade was helpful in the beginning. It doesn't seem like it's really much for me now except for use turns to bring counters down when needed. And then Follow has been pretty good. Um, he becomes a lot better once I apply Skull Mist T to one of the latter forms of Chicky Chi. Um, I just got Azul Battle Axe, so I haven't had a chance to use it, and uh, everything else is, well, that's pretty much it, actually. Oh, I was running kind of a Demonize build at first, I brought Loki, but then I wasn't really offered many Demonize cards, so I kind of dropped that. And uh, I considered also doing a Overburn build, and I do have a couple of Overburns here with the Azul Skull, but... Really, more than Overburn, these are here to evolve my Chicky Chi to then use Skull Mist T on it. Um, so the Overburn is still nice, but it's not really been what I've been going for. That's why I also dropped Shen. And then the two berries I haven't even really used. I think I used Berry Sis in the beginning because I didn't have any other companions. Apart from Loki, but uh, yeah, I haven't used her in a while. And then I have these three charms, which I'm not using. So Pomegranate Charm seems awful. At least with this deck. So I can apply Barrage to something. But I reduce its attack. And I can't use it on anything other than... Oh! Okay, I can use it on Azul Battle Axe. I mean, I just got this card. Right here. So, I still haven't used that. But before Azul Battle Axe, it was literally just... These guys at top. And I don't want to do that. I want to keep their attack. I do see it maybe being useful for Bunny Face here. I forget which... Name she originally had. My wife recommended changing her name to Bunnyface. Because um, I could then apply the Demon Eyes. With the Barrage. But I don't know. I still like the high attack. You know what? This is probably worth using now. Given that I'll boost up the attack with Skull Mist T. So let's go ahead and throw this on now actually. I think that's fine. And then the other two charms I just got from this shop as well. But... I mean, I guess I'll throw them on, but it doesn't seem like it really matters that much. If I put a charm on a summon card, does that charm then apply? It doesn't. Okay, can't even apply it. That's fine. So let's just throw it on... Let's see. I don't actually know. Alright, let's just put it on... Bunny face, who cares? And then, uh, get extra gold. There's, a, I guess, a small chance that I'll get enough gold from the Blinks charm to then activate the Greed charm. Seems kind of unlikely, but we only have two Bling right now, so. Anyways, enough stalling. It's been already four minutes. Let's get to it. Yes, this is the last fight. This is the deck I won with two runs ago my last win it was a shroom deck and I want to say I remember it not being or at least thinking that it wouldn't be too hard to counter although I guess I don't really know uh, and uh, we'll find out I forgot that I crowned Palm Bomb this really I only crowned because I put the uh, snow charm on it so right off the bat I can help delay turns and sure, it's also really good chip damage right off the bat, but that's pretty much it. A 
Okay, so... Who do I want to apply Zul's Skull to? Wart or Fungan? Hmm. Oh, it's at apply 5 already? I think I want to kill Fungun. I don't know, maybe it's better to kill Wart? I mean, he's gonna proc soon, his counter's low. Fungun's is a bit higher. Let's go with Wart. Oh, I can freeze this guy quite a bit, can't I? Oh, he's screwed. Okay. And then... I could actually go ahead and... Kill Wart. He's gonna explode now. Okay. Or Overburn, whatever. Alright. Let's go ahead and re redraw. Okay, this is what I want. So... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I need to actually give the attack boost now. I want to put Follow on the field before. Let me turn this audio down. It's a little loud, isn't it? Whatever. Yeah, ideally I could put Follow down first and then use Double Skull Miss T, but I think to go ahead and try and kill Fun Gun as soon as possible, I need to go ahead and and use one Skull Mist T. Okay, and then... Oh, hey, this is fine. This is good. Alright, now... Nine damage. All active. Minus two to all enemies. Okay. Um. Let's see. Let him tank the snow damage. Or actually. We're gonna sacrifice follow, and that's fine. It is nice having follow buffed up with Skull Mist, but maybe I can still get that to happen later on. Let's go ahead and kill Grizzle to keep Taiga healthy. I don't have a lot of healing in this deck, so I really need to keep um, my heroes or companions or whatever from taking unnecessary damage. And follow is summoned, so it doesn't matter that much. Okay, um, I might hold on to the Skull Mist T for another little bit. Is that what I want to do? Should I actually use Sunburst on Bunny Face? Or actually, you know what? Four, eight. Hmm. Should I try and kill Plum to keep Taiga healthy, or should I go ahead and destroy Ice Forge? Let's destroy Ice Forge. Oh, yeah, Ice Forge helped. It reduced its attack to, um, dude, that's really nice. Okay, I think I want to let Chikasan attack and then use Azul Skull on it. Azul Skull, sorry. Is that what I want? Do I want to use Tiger or Azul? Let's 
could just go for Azul, I guess. And then... Or you know what? Let's go ahead and do... Tiger on it as well. That's fine. I have Chikaguru summon. This is the final form, I guess. Another Ice Forge. Kind of annoying. Um, is this already lethal? Or does Krooper... No, Krooper respawns into that big thing, right? Oh, do I want it to take 9 damage, though? So if I were to let Taiga take the hit... Krooper would die, but Taiga would also die. So I think I want to let Chikaguru take the hit. Go down to 1 HP, then discard him, so I can resummon him and heal him back up. I think that's the right play. So uh, let me just try to destroy the Ice Forge then. And then when Krooper dies, I'll say Pom Bomb for that. I think that's what I want to do. Um, eight. Let's see. Do I let Chikagoru attack first? You know what? Let's let Chikagoru attack first. Um, hmm. I think, is that fine? I, hmm. This is fine, this is fine. Let's just let him attack. Um, here, it doesn't matter. I just need to end the turn. Okay, now I want to play the Palm Bomb. It's all the stuff I get summoned. There we go. Holy crap. Forgot that I have Barrage. That's nuts. Okay. Alright, a lot of value out of Palm Bomb there. Okay, so you're about to hit for four. Uh, what's the right call here? I guess this? I don't really know. Okay, this kills him. And then... What do I want to do now? He's at plus 8 health now. Um, I don't have a super easy answer. I need to start summoning things, don't I? I'm going to let Flo take the hit. That's fine. So this guy really needs to die now. Oh, I'm kind of delaying the inevitable here. Um, what's my way out of this? Four. Maybe I let Bunnyface take four damage to kill Grizzle. And... Here, I'll play that. There we go. Okay, so now... Wait. Did I not discard my chicken? It was summoned, wasn't it? So that was a misplay. Right, because you can't... Um, you can't discard summoned companions. 
Dang. It's fine. It doesn't really matter that much. Their attack. So what's the right call here? I don't actually know what to do. So I need to kill this winter worm. Five health. Yeah, let's just do this maybe. So he's down to 30. Um Sunburst. So if I play Sunburst right now. Dang, if I can only apply Demonize right now, he'll die as soon as he hits Taiga. So maybe I just freeze him? Stall out one turn of snow here. Freeze again. And... You know, this is fine. This is already lethal. Right? Yeah. Alright, well that's the end of this run. Okay, well, this is my first win with, uh, this tribe. I honestly don't know how hard this one's going to be to fight in the future. I still don't think I even fully realize the potential of this build, of these cards, like... I feel like the first tribe is a lot easier to understand, and granted I have a few more hours with it than this one, but I don't know. Okay. So... Okay, so that was the first one with the Shade Mancers. Very interesting. A lot of, like, sacrificing, which I know it says here. Strategically sacrificed, but I didn't realize just how much that would be but very cool um feels a lot kind of like a warlock um this one snow dwells i think still feels easier and then i guess this is the one we're launching next the clunk masters the lost tribe of the gnomes you know what i'll probably record a video of me trying this one out and i'll read all this and go through it then so that's it for this video um i like this clan or this tribe i'm definitely gonna play with it more um, yeah, it was fun. So that's really it.